It's now more than six months since she was first arrested in Egypt after being found with almost 300 tramadol tablets in her luggage. Laura Plummer from Hull continues to protest her innocence from her prison cell after being given a three-year sentence back in December. Now her family say they're devastated after learning only this weekend that it'll be months before Laura's appeal is heard. They've now received paperwork confirming that while she hasn't been convicted of drug smuggling because no evidence was has found that she planned to sell the tablets while on holiday. She has been sentenced for possession of tramadol. She insists she'd taken the powerful painkiller for her partner to use on his bad back and didn't know the medication was banned in Egypt. A hearing to consider her appeal against the conviction will not take place until the end of the year. It's been submitted on the grounds that Laura couldn't have known the tablets were illegal because of a lack of information online and at the Egyptian airport she'd flown into. Laura's family had hoped the case would be reconsidered much sooner and are doing what they can to get things dealt with more quickly. I think that there's a good chance that the British Embassy in Egypt will be able to persuade the Egyptian authorities to accelerate her case. Um, and at, at the appeal, it's very possible that the judges could reach an entirely different verdict from, from what's gone before because the Egyptian judicial system is pretty unpredictable as well as being extremely slow. More than 113,000 people have now signed a petition calling for Laura to be freed. Her family continue to make regular visits to Egypt but have been advised by the Foreign Office not to make any public statements for fear of antagonising the Egyptian authorities. The Foreign Office says it's still working to support Laura and her family. Laura herself remains desperate to come home. James Webster ITV News.